Ian Durant, how um, did it feel working for East Kilbride now as assistant manager to come up against your former team kind of in the Rangers Colts? Yeah, it was good. It's genuinely a miracle that I got here in one piece today. The rain coming through Glasgow to Dumbarton was honestly biblical. I'm here outside of the CNG System Stadium now, or Dumbarton Stadium, the home of Dumbarton Football Club. But we're not watching Dumbarton today. We are watching Rangers Colts again against East Kilbride. I want to watch as many Rangers Colts games as I can get to this season. Hopefully I can get to a few more. They're a really interesting side and um, I'll be really interested to see how, um, how they're season plays out against the men's teams in the Lowland League. There's some great players last time. Leon King really stood out. Um, they've made a few additions to the squad since then. So, yeah, we'll see uh, what we can find out about Rangers. Remember to hit that like button. Remember to subscribe if you're new. Um, I made, recently made a video about East Kilbride as well. So, they are the team that Rangers are playing today. East Kilbride, a great side who um, hopefully will be up there um, at the end of the season. But, yeah, they haven't had the best of starts in the Lowland League. Rangers had a pretty good start. But, um, yeah, have dropped points just recently as well so big game for both teams enough rambling from me do remember to hit that like button subscribe if you're new and uh, let's get inside the stadium off Tony Weston on the ball and Charlie McCann just signed for Man United the number six long throw Ooh. some really good players to look out for for Rangers today you've got the number six just in there Charlie McCann, he's just signed from Man United, should be a really, really good player for them. You've got Tony West, the number 11, and Leon King, the number four at the back there. Some really good players in and around Rangers. And there's a good delegation of Rangers people here. Um, I guess like youth development people and scouts and stuff like that. But yeah, there's a good little turnout. A lot of the Rangers fans are over the other end. I'm sort of in the little press area now. But a huge thank you to Fanbase for sponsoring this video. East Kilbride are one of their teams. And East Kilbride are currently, as you can see, playing against Rangers Colts in the Lowland League. If you want to go and watch East Kilbride, then download Fanbase. First two links in the description box will be to download it on Apple and Android. And then you can also um, follow them on social media. I'll put that in the description box as well. So, yeah, huge thank you to Fanbase for sponsoring this video. East Kilbride are one of their teams. And they have loads of teams on there. So go on and see what teams you support. And if there's any near you that maybe you don't support, you want to go ground hop and you want to see them, then, um, yeah, do check them out as Rangers go forward now. But, yeah, go and check out Fanbase. We've got some great clubs on there. And um, you'll have a great time going to watch the football. But, um, yeah, back to the game. Deserved yellow card. Robbie Fraser, the left back, having a really good game. Just drew a foul. Western. Oh, what a goal! Tony Weston, the former Blackpool man, with a great goal. Edge of the box. Outside the box. Outside. Yeah. Great goal. Yes. Oh God. Here he is, the new man from Man United. Ooh. Ooh. Alex Lowry, the number seven. You'll have seen a few of his dribbles so far. Great game he's having. Some amazing players, technically, Rangers. How has he missed? Miss of the season right there. Yes. 
save. Another good save. East Kilbride have been good this half, unlucky not to have scored so far. Ooh. Here he is. He's had a great game so far. What can he do now? Look at him running it. He's got men over. Give it all. Should have gave it earlier. Second half has begun. Oh, it's going to creep in. No, it's not. Saved on the line. Oh. East Kilbride level. Who scored? There you go. Oh, what a save. At least we've not had another goalless draw like we did yesterday with uh, Carlisle and Colchester. It's been a good game. There's been some chances each in the second half as well. But um, yeah, look, as you can tell, not a huge amount of atmosphere here, but just really good to come and see the um, see the development of the Rangers squad as well as, yeah, see a potential league winner in East Kilbride. I know they have big ambitions. So yeah, interesting game today as we've got, you know, a team that are striving to be in the SPFL against a team that are, you know, littered with stars, but we've got a bit of an injury at the moment before a corner is about to be taken. Right, and the big centre back has received treatment, so he won't be on defending this corner. East Kilbride have got a big, a few big lads in there, including New Zealand international Stephen Old. Back out to mummy Chris Miller, pings it back out wide. Another chance goes begging. Can't be long left. Oh. East Kilbride starting to get a bit of the ball up this end. Ooh. Adam Devine, the goal scorer. He is the right back. He scored an unbelievable goal. You have to check out the highlights. What a goal. And Rangers, Coltsley 2-1 now. East Kilbride still looking for their first win of the season, remember. Oh, no. Straight red. So, Riley, you're a Celtic fan, but you're a ball boy here today for the East Kilbride Rangers game. Were you excited to see the game today, even though you're a Celtic fan and Rangers were playing? Yeah. Yeah? And how do you think Celtic will do this season? I think it'll be the same as last season. Same as last season, but do you know what the score was today? 6-0. 6, -0. Six -0. Are you happy with that? Yeah. And um, who do you think the star players are going to be this season for Celtic? Probably Christie. So I'm here with Alistair. Rangers fan, you were here watching the game today. What did you think of the performance from the Colts? Uh, I think it was good. Uh, yeah. I thought the goalkeeper was good especially and uh, we got some good goals. Yeah, he was very brave today, the goalkeeper, wasn't yeah. he? Thoughts for Rangers first team this season then as well? Obviously lost this weekend. How do you think they'll do overall? Uh, I think they'll come first, Yeah. but I don't want to jinx it. Ian Durant, how um, did it feel working for East Kilbride now as assistant manager to come up against your former team kind of in the Rangers Colts? Yeah, it was good. It was a good test for it, I think. We gave the Rangers a good test today. Unfortunately, yeah. we made a couple of mistakes and it sort of cost us. But again, that, that's the nature of football. Uh, we just need to 
get ourselves going again and hopefully that win will come round the corner. Of course, it's been a tough start, I guess, for East Kilbride at the moment. What do you think sort of the club needs to do to turn it around? There's been a few injuries, I know, but... That's all it is. We just need to start winning games. And uh, when you win games, you're successful. Yeah. At the present moment, we're not winning enough games, but it'll come. And uh, we just make sure we, we can get our fitness, our, our, our unfit players back, and uh, that will help bolster the squad because we're asking a lot of the boys yeah. day in and day out to do a lot of work just now. Yeah. And, uh, so once we get fit players out there. Amazing. And uh, just a word on the Rangers Colts as well. Who are you looking at to maybe come into the first team in the next few years? Well, you can see that there's sprinkled a few, a lot of boys there. And, and as I said, now being in this league, playing against men, it will tough, now, not toughen them up, but we'll get them a good yeah. a good start. And obviously now if they're playing well, then the manager will have a look at them. But there, there's a lot of starlets there. And uh, long mate continue. And look at that, the players are all beginning to leave. But look who I've just interviewed, Ian Duran, one absolute legend of the game. He has won league titles, Scottish Cups, he's played for Rangers and Everton. Um, yeah, he was at the, uh, at the training session that I was at the other day. But yeah, great to finally interview a legend like Ian Duran. Wow, that is mad. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to hit a like button, remember to subscribe. What do you think of the game? I tried my best to um, capture as much as I could today. Um, I know maybe one or two of the goals I didn't quite capture on time, but um, yeah, still a really entertaining game. We saw some goals. East Kilbride lost, unfortunately. They've had a bit of a tough start to the season with injuries. Um, which is why maybe they haven't had the best of starts. But Rangers, again, have won once again. Um, they've really started well. But, yeah, do let me know how you think both teams will do in the comments section below. Do remember to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll leave some videos around my head so you can keep watching my content. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.